It's Check on Stories. We're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio in Connecticut's primary yesterday. And the Democratic side for Governor Ned Lamont crushed Joseph Kenham. On the Republican side, Bob Stefanowski won the right to run against Ned Lamont. On the U.S. Senate side, Christopher Murphy ran unopposed. Republican primary Matthew Corey defeated Dominic Rapini 76% to 23%. In the United States House District 5, the Democratic primary, Johanna Hayes defeated Mary Glassman 62% to 37.8%. And on the Republican side, Manny Santos defeated two other challenger, winning 51.7% of the vote. In Lieutenant Governor race, the Democratic primary, Susan Bysowitz was the winner on the Democratic side. Joe Markley was the winner on the Republican side of the ledger. And locally, in the race for treasurer, the Democratic side, Sean Wooden was the winner. And on the Republican side, Thad Gray was the winner with 55.9% of the vote. The 75-year-old nonprofit Kent Nursing Association has merged with Kent Community Fund. The KNA was incorporated in 1943 during World War II by six women leaders in Kent. In KNA's early years, the Kent Grange donated a car for use of a public health nurse employed by the organization. The nurse, always a Kent resident, made house calls, providing services to children at Kent Center School. In 1966, Mary Ellen Nelson, the curse at the time, made 1,396 house calls, treating 400 children at KCS. With the advent of Medicare and more complicated billing requirements in the early 70s, the KNA no longer employed a nurse to serve Kent. Instead, it used its funds to secure needed home health care wellness for Kent area residents who did not have adequate insurance or financial resources through reimbursements to staff visiting nurse associations in nearby towns. The Kent Community Fund was established in 2006 to help individuals living in Kent meet emergency needs and to support community charitable programs to Kent residents. The work of both organizations will continue under the KCF umbrella with an expanded mission to assist and improve the community's health and welfare through the utilization of its resources and identify and financially support families families living in Kent to help them meet their health care needs and financial emergencies. A community-wide reception to celebrate the merger will be held on Friday, September 28th at 4 p.m. at St. Andrew's Church Parish Hall at the corner of Route 7 and 341 in Kent. All are welcome to attend. The American Legion Post 126 in Sharon is holding a meeting today. And monthly meetings are the third Wednesday of each month, 7 to 8 p.m., located at the Legion Hall, 15 New Street in Sharon. American Legion membership is open to all honorably discharged. For more information, 860-397-5296. Now coming up today, live at the Guthrie Center in Great Barrington at 7.30, Talk in Guthrie. Arlo Guthrie welcomes his family members for an evening of music, discussion, and a question and answer session. On the 16th, Fat Boys and Little Men, a young rock band from southeastern Massachusetts performing at the Bushnell Sage Library from 3 to 5 p.m. for a free library rock concert. You're invited to come out and build with the band. They like Legos. Join them on the back lawn for a free concert you don't want to miss. They're located on Main Street in Sheffield. August 16th in Germantown at 6 p.m., Harmonies on the Hudson with Peter Livingstone Holesapple. Livingston Descendant performs at the historic Claremont Mansion. The Sunset Music Series rolls on on the 16th. The group Stash will be performing live music, food, vendors, a car and motorcycle cruise at the Couch Piper VFW Post on Route 7. It runs from 7 till 9 p.m. August 16th in Egremont, storytelling and stand-up with Opria Eisenberg. A comedian, radio show host, and author presents her new show, That Is at the Barn. In Great Barrington on the 17th, it's Berkshire South's annual gala. Berkshire South will honor State Representative William Smitty Pignatelli. On the 17th in Red Hook, New York, the Hot Sardines will wrap up the Spiegelnet season at Bard College. It begins at 8.30. Community Day coming up on Saturday, August 18th at 9 o'clock in the morning at the military branch of Salisbury Bank and Trust. There will be a free shred event at a food drive at that time at the military branch located at 87 Main Street in Millerton, New York. On the 18th in Stockbridge, it's a Stockbridge Summer Arts and Crafts Show with more than 80 juried selected artists and artisans in one place. On the 18th in Spencertown, New York, and between 10 and 5, it's the Columbia County Open Gardens Day. And guess what? The gardens of Margaret Roach are once again on the agenda. 
Copic Falls. You can tour the gardens of Margaret Roach, buy plants, and also attend a lecture. A car show is going on at the annual fly-in at the airport in Great Barrington on Route 71 on Saturday. The car show from 10 to 4. Special awards presented at 3. If it's raining, that show will be canceled. Now there'll be race cars, street rods, muscle cars, classic cars, antiques, customs, imports, and more. It's sponsored by the Couch VFW Post in Canaan, Connecticut. That fly-in is some amazing fundraiser. Copake Grange presents Pets in the Park Contest Saturday from 10 to 11. 30, it's rain or shine. It benefits Gina's Animal Rescue Fund at the Copake Grange. Bring your pets to enter them to win in six great categories. Most friendly, best tail, most affectionate, best behaved sometimes, best handshake, and most vocal. Pets in the Park will take place near the Copake Ironworks in the Taconic State Park in Copake Falls, New York. For more information, nycfriedman at gmail.com. Berkshire Paint and Sip holding a kids' paint party, ages 6 and up, Saturday, August 18th from 11 to 1 at the Diamont Library in Falls Village. You can learn to paint a bright summer image of sunshine dragonflies on a 16 by 20 canvas. Now the $25 donation includes all painting materials, instruction, and refreshments. You can reserve seats online at BerkshirePaintAndSip.com or by calling 413-205-8346. On the 18th in Tivoli, New York, Extreme Ballet Showcase at the Cats Band International Dance Center. Performance featuring ballet students from across the country and the Philippines. St. Martin of Tours Parish Immaculate Conception Church 4th Annual Community Picnic happens on the church grounds 4 North Street in Norfolk, Connecticut on Saturday. Food 1 to 4, mass under the tent at 5. Hot dogs, hamburgers, sausage, pepper grinders, fries, salads, ice cream, and more. Aaron Og, Boston Irish Band under the tent all afternoon. There's a raffle, Kia sedan, John Deere tractor, Weber grill, and more. And it's free for all. The Baker Talks. Back in Sharon at the Sharon Historical Society and Museum on Saturday from 4 till 5 p.m. You can join in with Jesse Sheehan, a Sharon resident, a cookbook writer and recipe developer and food blogger. Uh, by the way, if you want more information, 860-364-5688. Adam Van Doren will discuss his book, The Stones of Yale, on August 18th at 5 p.m. at the Cornwall Library, 30 Pine Street in Cornwall. It is open to the public. In New Marlboro, Massachusetts, members of the New Marlboro Volunteer Fire Company holding their 25th annual pig roast on Saturday at the fire station on Norfolk Road in Southfield. The dinner includes roast pork and turkey. We serve from 5 till 7, followed by dancing to live music and a raffle with more than 50 prizes. There will also be a face painter for children. Tickets are $20 for adults, $10 for children. Tickets for both the raffle and dinner are available at Mill River General Store and from any new Marlboro Fire Company member. For more information about the pig roast, 413-229-0291. This is a special for all Sharon Playhouse veterans. That's right. If you're a veteran, the Sharon Playhouse wants to salute you. They would like to honor you for your service by offering you two free tickets to Always Patsy Klein on Sunday, August 19th at 3 p.m. You can contact Joanna Hahn at 860-921-7566 with your name, and two tickets will be waiting for you at the Will Call booth. If you need assistance, contact Miriam Jones at 860-397-5296. Apothery for chronic Lyme disease being held at the Cornwall Town Hall, 26 Pine Street in Cornwall on Sunday from 2 to 4. Speakers will be Larry Mance, Estella DeLuca, and Jim Prentice. How honeybee venom kills the bacteria that causes Lyme disease and how to treat yourself at home. For more information, contact Jim Prentice at 860-672-6101. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlake and interlakeandin.com. And by Salisbury Bank and Trust, SalisburyBank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average starts up today, 112.22 to the plus side, 25,299.92. The Nasdaq at 7870.8 and the S&P 500 at 2839.96. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That comes your way in just a few moments.